Hello everybody, I want to show you with this video 10 first things to do for the Samsung Galaxy A56 5G. And the first thing I want to show you is almost invisible here at the side. You can easily swipe it out and you will have quick access to your favorite apps. And if you don't think these apps uh, fit you the most, then you can uh, change it by just tapping the pen and remove maybe the wallet and yeah, adding YouTube and yeah. If you tap on the home button and when you swipe it out, you will have now YouTube view at your sidebar. Pretty, pretty nice. And of course, the sidebar is well located. You just swipe it out with your thumb and you're having now quick access here to your favorite apps. In case if um, your hand is a bit smaller, you can also long press here the sidebar icon and put it a bit down uh, so that it's more comfortable for you. You can even put it here on the other side if you're left-handed. So pretty, pretty nice. And then you have your sidebar here on that side. Um, good to know, I think. Let me put it back here. Uh, a pretty nice mode. The next feature I want to show you is for your battery lifespan. Because uh, if you want to extend it, then take care that you're always between 20 and a maximum 85% here at the battery. So if you're running lower than 20%, you just charge your phone. It's clear. Uh, and if you're getting over 80 or 85%, uh, that's sometimes a bit difficult, especially if you want to charge your phone overnight. But you can stop it automatically. So let me show you what I mean. So just scroll down here below the battery symbol, so that you're here at the control center. And a part of the control center is here always the symbol for the settings. Just tap on it. Now you need to scroll down to the point battery. And you will find the point battery protection. It's already turned on on the basic level, but I recommend to you to change it. Just tap here and change it now to the maximum level. So that means uh, the charging will always stop automatically at 80%. Because if you have it on a basic level, uh, the charging will uh, stop at 95%, let it go at 100% and stop the charging. Huh? Uh, but um, yeah, at all, the best one to have for a long battery lifespan is the maximum. Of course, at the beginning, your battery one time is not that much uh, uh, like at other persons at the same time then. But after one year, you will see that your battery one time is much better than at the other ones. The next feature I want to show you is to make the phone a bit faster. Because always if you open an app or you're the Play Store, uh, it zooms out and it zooms in. Huh? Can you see it? zooms out and it zooms in. And this is taking a bit time and you can make the phone much faster if you remove these animations in general. Let me show you how. So just scroll down here below the battery symbol, tap down on the symbol for the settings. Then you need to go to the point. Accessibility. You will find the point vision enhancements. And a bit below you will find the point reduce animations. Let's check. So by on now the place that was immediately there or the gallery is immediately there and immediately gone. Huh? Let me turn now on these uh, animations so that uh, so I disable this point here. Huh? And now you see how slow it is huh? usually with these animations. So just turn it off and you will see how much faster your phone can be. So just enable here the point reduce animations. Huh? And that yeah makes the phone much faster. The next feature I want to show you is for your mental health because everyone needs a bit me time and so on. And yeah, of course you can mute the phone, but you have still visible incoming messages, um, incoming notifications or calls and so on. And yeah, if you want to watch a YouTube video to have a bit me time or a Netflix movie, then it's yeah a bit difficult and you've always been interrupted. Huh? Let me show you how you can stop it. So just scroll on here below the battery symbol so that you have the control center and the part of the control center are here these shortcuts. And if you scroll on in the shortcuts, you can have much more. And one of them is here, the do not disturb mode. If you tap it, you can set up a time or until you turn it off. No? And then these incoming messages are stopped so visibly. Um, uh, but I want to show you a bit more about. So just scroll in here again, scroll in here to shortcuts. And if you long press now the do not disturb mode, you can uh, go here on details and set up some more options. Uh, like you can set up automatically uh, that it's uh, turned on maybe at a sleeping time and so on. Uh, and you can give, and this is pretty, pretty important, you can give exceptions. Because if someone of your parents or your children wants to 
uh, getting in touch with you, you can give them exceptions that they always reach you. Uh, so just go your calls and messages and give them, um, yeah, uh, as well. Oh, I forgot the word in English. <laughs> um, yeah, an exception, an exception. Uh, and as well for apps, no? maybe you need some apps, what is very important for you, then you can give also some exceptions uh, to them uh, here to have it also during the do not disturb mode. So pretty, pretty nice. And by the way, the calls and the messages, uh, if, it's, if it's an urgent call, you can allow this one here, repeat callers can always get through. So that means if someone is calling you twice within 15 minutes, then you will see the call and hear the call as well. Uh, so a pretty nice mode here at all. Let me go a bit further uh, with the do not disturb mode because you have also some more settings. Now we had already the sleeping time you can set up, uh, but what about your work? You, know, you need different settings at your work or if you're at the library or maybe at the gym and so on. Let me show you a bit more about. So just scroll down here below the battery symbol, tap then you on the symbol for the settings. And now you have here this point, modes and routines. Okay, uh, and here at the modes you can set up as you have different, uh, um, uh, oh, I'm sorry really for my English today. Um, you have different um, options. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let's uh, keep going on with our example here with the work. Uh, so if you are at work, uh, let me go here. It's just, that and you can set up first when this uh, option should be enabled um, automatically and turn off automatically. Yeah? So if you are at a special place, no, like your working place and so on, you can set up this one or if you're working sometimes there and sometimes there, uh, you can just set up a time period. No? If you set up a place, you need to set up a local area. No? And if you, yep, let me go out here. And if you need the time period, you can Choose um, yeah, on which days you want to have it, at what time you want to have it. Uh, so pretty nice. And if you have done it, uh, let me just take the time period now, just go on next. And now you can enable as well the do not disturb mode in general with your existing exceptions and add some exceptions. Uh, go then you're on next. So now you can set up some more options like uh, the sound mode and the volume. Maybe if you're working in a loud uh, company and a loud factory, you can increase the volume automatically always if you're there. And then um, uh, you can as well reduce the uh, uh, volume if you're maybe in a library or something like this. Now you can enable the power saving mode if you don't use your phone often because then why not saving energy a bit now? Or you can open a special app if you are there, uh, which one you always need now. So pretty nice. And after just go on done, and it's, it's turned on, no? and uh, pretty, pretty nice. So always, if you need it, just uh, turn it on and off and so on, how you want it. And you have many other options here for the theater, for exercises, and you can create also your own ones. So pretty, pretty nice. The next feature I want to show you are routines. Uh, so we have seen it at modes already. Uh, you can uh, set up some stuff what is automatically done if you are there and there and so on. And you can give some more routines here to your phone for your daily use. Maybe if you want to watch a Netflix uh, video or a YouTube video, it's nice to have it in landscape mode. And if you're laying down, it don't switch automatically to portrait mode again and so on. Let me show you a bit more about. So just scroll on here below the battery symbol and then tap you on the symbol for the settings. Then you need again now the point modes and routines. So we had our the modes already and now we need the routines here. So, and if you want to add a routine, just tap here on the plus symbol. And let's keep going on with our example, YouTube and Netflix in landscape mode automatically. So that means here, if we create a rich, uh, routine, uh, if, no, add what will trigger this routine, we will choose an app. So do I have Netflix here? No, I don't have Netflix. I have Netflix here on the phone. And uh, yeah, YouTube. Okay, after just tap you on done. So now you can add also some conditions and so on if you want, but at our case, we just add what will, um, add what this routine will do. So, and we want to have it here with a screen orientation 
in general in landscape mode. Okay, go on done. Okay, uh, after just tap on save, well, you can give it a name now, go on done, and we will have our routine now. Let me show you what I mean exactly. So if I open now YouTube, it's automatically in landscape mode, whatever position my phone is having. And if I leave YouTube, I'm back at the regular screen orientation. So in my case here, the portrait mode. So pretty, pretty nice. Huh? Uh, let me go back here to the routines. So uh, you can also, if you have no idea what to do exactly there, you can go on discover and here you see many use cases, uh, what uh, routines you can set up maybe. I uh, see it's pretty nice uh, to see and to set up and this will makes your daily uh, life here much easier with the phone. The next feature I want to show you is for our eyes because we are using our smartphone too often and yeah, this gives our eyes a lot of stress, but there's a way to reduce that stress. Let me show you how. So just scroll down here below the battery symbol, scroll down here at the shortcuts, right? that we have much more than, and one of it is here the eye comfort shield. If I turn it on like this, you will see that the screen color is changing. Right? It's a bit more warm now. I said I have, it's having a little yellow touch, and this is nothing else than a blue light filter. Huh? So it reduces the bad blue light and that's very good for our eyes. By the way, if you want to squeeze out the maximum of the eye comfort shield, just long press it, and then you can go on custom, and you can change the color temperature. Because it's more warm it is, as better it is for your eyes. Huh? But the advantage of the adaptive one is that on the day, where it is not that usual for our eyes, um, it has a lower blue light filter, and in the evening hours where your eyes um, are very sensible, it will increase and the uh, uh, color temperature, what is good for your eyes. So I recommend to you to take the adaptive one. And pretty nice as well for evening hours is a dark theme, because uh, if you're having the bright screen here at night, if everything is dark around you, it's not that comfortable for your eyes. Huh? I think you know what I mean. Uh, you're having maybe this situation one day and um, yeah, but you can enable dark theme. Let me show you how this works. So just scroll down here below the battery symbol and then you will have here the moon icon. Well, let's just tap it and we will have now a dark theme. And as you can see, everything was what's white before is now dark. By the way, it is saving a lot of energy because the, at the dark areas, the pixels are turned off. But the dark theme has a disadvantage and this is that uh, it's not that comfortable for your eyes during the daytime. Now, the contrast is not that good. Yeah. Um, and I recommend to you to have it only in the evening hours or at night and that you don't have to turn it on and off by your own. You can set it up automatically. So just scroll down here below the battery symbol, long press now here the moon icon and turn it on as chat shoot. Well, now you can set it up from sunset to sunrise. So if the sun sets, the uh, dark theme will turn on automatically and if the sun rises, the dark theme will turn off. Pretty nice. And if you want, you can clone apps with a phone. So that means if you're having more than one Facebook account, you don't need to switch always within one app. Huh? Or if you have inserted two SIM cards, what's possible here on the phone, you can have with each number and own WhatsApp account. Let me show you how, what I mean. So for that, just scroll down here below the battery symbol, then tap you on the symbol for the settings. Then you need to scroll down to advanced features. And you will find a bit below the point dual messenger. So you will have a list of which uh, services are available here for that uh, feature. And yeah, as the name says, it's only um, available here for messaging services. Huh? So let's uh, turn it on here. If you want to clone WhatsApp, just go then on install, confirm for the very first time, and then you can use a separate contact list if you want. Uh, just go on next. You can do it later now. Go on OK. And then, yeah, it's cloned. Well, let's clone also your Snapchat, install Facebook, install. You see, it's pretty easy. Messenger install. Okay, now we have all the four um, cloned. Uh, but how to recognize these cloned apps? Well, let me go back here to our desktop. Uh, how to recognize them and how to use them now. So just uh, scroll up here so that you have the app drawer and here at the second page you will see them. 
Oh, this is my main messenger uh, account. This is my second one, my main uh, WhatsApp account and my second one. And as you can see, the second one is always having here this blue mark here at the corner. And yeah, so a pretty nice mode if you're having more than one account. Yeah, we're almost at the end of the video and I want to show you now a nice feature to save energy and squeeze out the maximum of it. Uh, so if you enable the power saving mode here, the basic one, uh, just uh, scroll down here. Then you have here at the shortcuts, the battery symbol. Just tap on it and the power save, saving mode is turned on. And as you can see, this using the dark mode, what turns off some pixels here, dark areas, what's uh, saving a lot of uh, energy. Uh, the CPU speed is reduced and so on the 5G is turned off. And yeah, so the phone is still pretty good. Yeah. But you can squeeze out the maximum to double the battery one time here. Let me show you how this works. So just scroll down here. Let me turn it off first, the battery power saving mode, the regular one. So scroll down here. Then long press now the battery symbol here, the power saving mode, and then you hear the settings. And you can see here what will happen if you turn it on now. Uh, like also a screen timeout after 30 seconds and so on. And yeah, I recommend then to you to on this here, limited apps and home screen. Uh, so actually we're having here the power saving uh, battery life. So the remaining one, uh, the remaining time with one day and 19 uh, hours with 36% was well, pretty good by the way, but it depends on the usage of the phone. Huh? And if I turn this point on limit apps and home screen, it is now at three days and 21 hours. So it's, yeah, the double of the time we had before. So pretty, pretty nice. And let me show you now what it is here, limit apps and home screen. So let me turn it on here, the battery power saving mode. We will have now a limited apps here. And you can add some more apps here if you want with a plus symbol. Like then you can have YouTube, WhatsApp and so on. And you can even play games here at this mode. No? Um, yeah, what, what is as here uh, next to the things we had? We have uh, um, yeah, a limited uh, screen brightness here. We will have uh, 15 seconds, um, then the screen timeout comes and so on. And yeah, many background activities are limited. No? But as I've said, you can even play games here. Right? And pretty important, we double the time. No? Um, and it's more than three times than the regular battery one time. So if you really don't need your phone at the moment, but want still uh, online and so on, use this power saving mode. And it can save your life one day. Uh, if you just have 5% and so on, you can really go for hours. Uh, pretty nice. Okay, and if you have the chance to charge your phone again, uh, if, if you don't need this power saving mode anymore for the moment, and just tap you on the th three points, Go on turn off power saving mode and you're back at the regular mode. No, no data is deleted or something like this. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty nice. Yeah, I hope I could help you with this video and answer your question and show you a nice setup here for your phone. And yeah, maybe if you want, you can leave me a nice comment or give me some thought. That would be very helpful for my videos. Uh, thank you so, so much for, and I've created also some other videos if you're interested in with some more tips and tricks and so on. Or you can also subscribe me if you haven't done it before. Thank you so, so much for all your support and Yo, maybe until next time. Mm -hmm. Ciao.